Hello there everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to run Portal 2 at pretty high FPS on your Apple Silicon machine. So as you can see, I have an Apple M1 2020 Mac Mini. And here's what we're going to do. First, you have to be on Mac OS Sonoma to run this. So this is the new beta OS that Apple's put out and this supports game porting toolkit which we are going to use and we're going to use this from an app called whiskey so once you have your mac os sonoma beta installed you can open up safari and go to github.com slash isaac maravitz slash whiskey put that in and all the links here will be in the description so now we have whiskey here we're gonna go to release 1.2.0 just go ahead and download this zip file now that we have whiskey downloaded we want to do two more things we're gonna go to store.steampowered.com go to install steam and just hit our little windows button right here now we have steam setup.exe downloaded when we also want to go to steam command just search that up click on the first link and you'll see this download steam command for windows just hit this and you'll have steam command.exe also the next thing we want to do is go back into our downloads take whiskey and just drag it into our applications folder now scroll down we'll see whiskey here and when you click it should show this screen it says Rosetta installed GPTK not installed that means the game porting toolkit is not installed and we need that so let's click next it's gonna download it for us before when we were on an older version we had to download it manually but now it just does it for us so let's give that a minute to download now that that is all done we can go to create bottle and I'm just gonna type in steam command for this one and then I'll hit browse because I want to put this on my external hard drive I'm gonna make a whiskey folder in here and that's where I will save my bottles and I'll just hit create wait for this to load up and now that my bottle is ready what I'm gonna do is go back into my downloads folder and I want to move steam command to where I have where I want to put my game and I don't have that much space I only have 34 gigabytes so I'm going to go on my hard drive, find the games folder, PC, I'm going to make a Steam folder, I'll call it Steam Command actually, and now I will drag my Steam Command.exe in here. Now I'll go back to Whiskey, and in the bottom right here we're going to click Run. Now I'm going to go to my hard drive, and I'm going to find where I put my steam command.exe here it is open it up it's gonna download these updates and once it's all done you should see this nice flashing terminal looking really appealing what we're gonna do now is hit login on the keyboard and just type in your steam new username now it's gonna ask for a password and I'm going to pull mine up. Give me a minute. Now it'll just leave this field blank so you won't see anything when you're putting in your password. Type it in, hit enter, and there we go. It's asking for my two factor authentication code. I will go here. Go there, okay. Uh, right now, my code is 
two p t and six. Great. And there we go. I'm all logged in now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go type in app underscore update. And this is where you install all your apps. So the way you see what app you wanna install is you go to your browser, steamdb.org. Oh, that doesn't exist, hang on. Dot info, sorry guys. Type in the game you want, so Portal 2 in our case. And we have app ID 620. Just copy that, app update 620. Hit enter, and it is gonna start downloading Portal 2. Now the reason we have to install the game through Steam command is because when we do it on Steam normally, it installs some of the wrong files and that doesn't let us run, it just crashes every time. So thank you to Fugami, I don't know if I'm saying your name right, on Discord. Uh, you helped me out a ton, thank you very much. Hey, finally, it says success. App 620 finally installed. So if I go into my finder now, I uh, go to games, PC, Steam command, and I go to Steam apps, common, portal 2. Here we go, we have all the files. And now what we're going to do is we can go app underscore run 620. And it's going to launch it. And here we go. We got this signature guy with a valve in his head. Beautiful intro music. And now it will close. And it says, engine error. Steam is not running. You must start Steam in order to play this game. So, now what we're going to do is we can close out of Steam command. Won't need this anymore. Let's make a new bottle. Just call this Steam. Put it in my whiskey hard drive place. Wait for this guy to load up. Runny nose today. Anyways, uh, hit run, bottom right, downloads, find steam setup.exe this time, hit open, and it should launch this window, English or whatever language you want to do. Hit next, hit install, finish, make sure run steam is checked there. It's going to download and update steam. Yeah, I'm sick. It sucks. Uh, anyways, uh, Steam should open up any minute now. Hooray! And I'm just gonna sign in with the QR code. Scan that guy. Boom. And here we go. We have Steam running. And now when we open it up, you're gonna notice something odd because when we go to the library and I go what's installed there's nothing we need to point steam to our portal 2 installation so let's go to settings now click on steam go to settings it's gonna load for a minute storage and now let's click this plus 
and in this window here we can show where we want uh, to point Steam to where all our games are. So I have it in volumes, Crucial X6, which is my external SSD, uh, games, PC, Steam command, and now you just want to select this whole folder that has all this Steam stuff in it. Hit open, and immediately Portal 2 will show up. We can hit play, it is gonna launch any minute now boom I love that intro it's just amazing see the valve thing source engine and now this is where it crashed before but it stays open and we have this menu, play single player, play co-op. I can get back in my game already. So I'll just do that quickly. Uh, I'm pretty early in the game, so there won't be any spoilers. But I just want to show that it runs at about 60 FPS. So I'm going to go into the Steam overlay. Hello. Uh, I'm going to open up the Steam overlay, go to settings, go to interface, or nope, nope, in game, in game FPS counter, top left. Close out of all this. And I'm going to update my settings a little. Uh, I only want to run it at 1080p. Uh, these are just medium for me. Turn this guy to trilinear. It looks the same to me. I don't really notice a difference in the settings, but this will up the performance a little bit. Uh, hit apply. And now here we go. We are running at 65 FPS here. And it's working pretty well. Everything renders properly. Sometimes there are a few glitches, like as you can see here, there's just that blank space there but when you go through it'll render. So the portals are a little buggy, but other than that, everything runs really well. That's about it. So that is how you get Portal 2 running on Mac OS. Uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching, and that's about all. I will see you in the next one. Maybe. I, I don't know, actually. Bye-bye.